Tonight, the community is honoring a beloved baker in Oxon Hill who died unexpectedly. Gerard Hewitt had been serving up cakes and pastries at Desserts by Gerard for 33 years. He died Saturday of complications from open heart surgery. News Force Amy Cho shares how his family and his employees are coming together to remember him. Tearful hugs all around at Desserts by Gerard as the community honors a life well lived. For 33 years, owner Gerard Hewitt was a fixture here in Oxon Hill, serving up cakes and cookies and everything in between. People just kept coming and it didn't matter where we were, they came for Gerard. And they came because of him, because of his food, because of his talent. Gerard met his wife Katie at a pastry shop in Paris. The two have worked side by side for all these years often donating pastries and profits to those in need. Just the all around goodness of his heart. Uh, that's what I fell in love with in the beginning and he was just a good, good man. Gerard died Saturday after complications from open heart surgery. He was 65 years old. Well, growing up watching someone who has that kind of work ethic and you know, the example that he set just as a dad and as a man, you know, like is unmatched and unrivaled. Today, you could see a growing memorial outside the bakery. One employee says she even invited Gerard to her wedding and saw him as family. I always um, love him as my second father. Uh, he, used, he used to be always there for me, to support me. Whenever I need him, he was there. Almost every day we go to the store and I say hi to him, you know. I was like him very much. Just seven months ago, Gerard also became a grandfather. His family says he loved doting on his little grandson, Ezra. Like I have to tell, you know, my son, like, hey, this is your granddad. And like, here's pictures of you guys together, but like, you won't remember him. And like, that's, that's the hardest thing for me. A community paying respects and honoring a man beloved by so many. In Oxon Hill, Amy Cho, News 4. You know, we use the word community a lot, but that's what it looks like. The Hewitt family says that they're still deciding the future of the bakery.